Hello students, I hope you are doing well at your homes. Uh, as you all know that we have started uh, online classes. So today I am here to give you a class of your first chapter uh, of SSC 8 standard that is our India. So uh, these are the following concepts that we will discuss in this class. So let's start with the first concept that is Indian extensions. So here we have the map of India. Uh, over the northern part of India is extended up to 37 degree 6 minute north and the southern part of India is extended up to 8 degree 4 minute north and your western part of India is extended up to 68 degree 7 minute east and your easternmost part of India is extended up to 97 degree 5 minute east. And the distance between north and the south of India is 3214 km and the distance between west and the east part of India is 2933 km. Uh, let's proceed to your next concept that is your Himalayas. Himalayas, uh, if I say what do you mean by Himalayas? Himalayas are basically comprised of two words that is Him plus Ale. Him means snow and Ale means house. So, Himalaya means a house of snow. Your Himalayas are always covered with so much glaciers, so which are the uh, source from where rivers originate. So, uh, let's start your Himalayas. Himalayas are basically divided into three parts. First is your Greater Himalayas, which is also known as Himadri. Second is your Middle Himalayas. which is also known as Himachal and the third is your lower Himalayas which are known by Shivaliks. Your uh, Himalayas are extended from your Jammu Kashmir in the north to Nagaland, Tripura, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh in the east or you can see up to Arakan Yoma mountains in your Myanmar. Uh, next uh, is your plains. Plains uh, you can say are the flat part uh, which are formed by your main rivers which carry huge silt, clay, loam with them and so they deposit at the Piedmont or your foothills of Himalayas. When these rivers deposit all these sediments or, uh, just here the, at the foothills of Himalayas so they form plains. So you can say plains are formed by your main three rivers Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra. Your plains are also being categorized into four parts. First is your Bhabar. Second is your Tarai. Third is your Bangar. And the fourth is your Khadar. Which are formed at the foothills of Himalayas by the main rivers Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra. First is your Bhabar which is a thin strip of plain made up of your uh, formed by your pebbles or small stones. When your small stones and pebbles are deposited at the Piedmont or foothills of Himalayas, they form the Bhabar part. Next, when the pebbles stop and your silt loam, your sandy soil started and they form a marshy land here just below the Bhabar part and that is known as Tarai region. You can say basically a Tarai region is a part where your rivers again start originating. Next is your Bangar part. Bangar part or Khadar part basically formed around the banks of rivers. So Bangar part is the oldest alluvial soil. You can say where flood water never reaches. These uh, Bhabar part, uh, this Bangar part forms away from the uh, banks of rivers. And next is your Khadar part. Khadar part just form around the banks of rivers which is very fertile for agriculture and very useful uh, for many farmers. 
so here we have explained your plain next proceed to your third desert third desert you can say is also a sub part of plain which is formed uh, at the western part of rajasthan and it also touches uh, some part of gujarat here is your third desert which comprises uh, which contains many sand dunes or dhor and receives very less rainfall and it uh, have a uh, xerophytic plants uh, um, if i say ki what what do you mean by xerophytic plants xerophytic plants are those plants which have thorns over their body and have deep long roots which penetrate deeply into the sea for to uh, get water tha desert so next proceed to your peninsular plateau peninsular plateau is uh, is here this triangular shaped is known as peninsular plateau uh, before that i'll define peninsula peninsula is a part of a land uh, you can say a part a land part which is surrounded by water from all three sides that is the hills with water in the south we have also water in the east we also have water so this is a peninsula which is surrounded by water from all three parts and here with we have peninsular plateau and is uh, surrounded by some main features like vindhyanchal in the north aravallis in the northwest ghats in the west and east and here we have chota nagpur plateau chota nagpur plateau is very rich in minerals and resources a uh, next proceed to your ghats ghats you can say uh, ghats are the land part which separates oceans from land or uh, their continental part so we have two ghats in the west we have western ghat and in the east we have eastern ghat along these ghats we have Uh, coastal plains uh, or um, parallel to these ghats we have coastal plains in the west side we have western coastal plain and as well as in the east side we have eastern coastal plain and below these both hands or uh, this gujarat or uh, there is the uh, eastern part we have two seas uh, one is known as arabian sea in the west side and the bay of bengal in the east side both these seas have a many group of islands in the arabian sea we have a lakshadweep and in the bay of bengal we have andaman and nicobar islands both these islands are made up of many small small islands in both these seas and below the southern part we have indian ocean so here we have discussed the basic physical features of india and the rest part we'll discuss in the next class and i hope you'll study hard stay home stay at home and stay safe good luck and bye